Okay, first and foremost, I want to give all honours and praises and glory belonging to my Lord and Saviour, whose name is Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahabashai, Bahasham, Wahavakar Kwadash, which is the name of the Heavenly Father, and the name of His Son is Yahabashai. And double honours to the elder apostles of Great Millstone that teach His truth well and that continue to teach His truth well, and to the hopeful elect across the globe, and to the few, the very few. Brothers and sisters, listening and also learning across the globe. We're going to start off with John 8 and 32. And you shall know the truth, and the truth shall make you free. So with us being woken up to this truth, we're made free. Spiritually, mentally, okay, even physically. Okay, even though we're, we're still in captivity, we're made free, more so spiritually, because we have we haven't got them strongholds on our minds anymore. We have you have a shine, and he's able to make us free. They answered him. Maybe just a minute. Yes, they answered him. We be Abraham's seed. Okay. And we were never in bondage to any man. Why were they saying this? And this was the Jews. Okay, why were they saying they were never in bondage to any men? Because they were in the higher positions. They were set up. So they said they were never in bondage to any man. They were living good in the Roman Empire. How sayest thou you shall be made free? Okay. Yahweh shall answer them, Verily, verily, I say unto you, Whosoever committeth sin is the servant of sin. Okay, so this shows you how Shabbat is referring to what? Sin. Okay. And what? The bondage of the mind. <laughs> okay. Lies. Deception. And the servant abideth not in the house forever, but the son abideth forever. Okay. If the son therefore shall make you free, you shall be free indeed. Okay. Which through Yahweh Shai were made free from the corruption of this world. Okay. And I know that you are Abraham's seed, but you seek to kill me. So this is what Yahweh was saying. Yeah, you're of Abraham's seed, but you are seeking to kill the Messiah, who the Heavenly Father sent to you, because my word have no place in you. And that's what happens. Okay, just like they done to the rest of the prophets. Stephen, okay, and the rest of the prophets, they had a problem. I speak that which I have seen with my father. So that's all we're doing. We're speaking which... We have seen, that's what Yahweh was doing. He was speaking what he seen with his father. And you do what you have seen with your father, which is the devil. Okay. And they answered and said unto him, Abraham is our father. Okay. Because you even got individuals in the truth with that same mentality. One father, one father, our power. Our power, our Lord. But you don't respect the men he sent to you. Okay. So he's not your father. Yahweh shall say unto them. If Abraham's children, if you were Abraham's children, you would do the works of Abraham. Okay? And Abraham, what, what was his works? The works of faith, obedience. Okay? You do the deeds of your father. Okay? Bear me just a minute. Let's go to verse 40. But now, you seek to kill me. You have a shy. A man that have told you the truth. Because our people, they can't handle the truth. Which I have... Which I have heard of the Most High. This did not Abraham. So Abraham did not act in that manner. Okay. You do the deeds of your father. Okay. Which is what the spiritual demon Satan. Esau really. Ren said they unto him. We, not, we be not born of fornication. We have one father. Even the Most High. Okay. You got to watch out for someone that always says our power. Our father. Our Messiah. Well first of all. When we speak of our Messiah, is he the Messiah of all of Israel? Yes. But there was only a remnant that accepted him. Because the majority of our people, they didn't accept Yahweh Shai. They were against him. Okay? They were against Yahweh Shai. They were scheming on Yahweh Shai. And it's the same thing today. Okay? So Yahweh Shai is saying, you're doing the deeds, you're doing the works of your father. And they were saying, no, we've been not born of fornication. We have one father. One power, just like the people say in the world. One power, one one God. But hold on a minute, the Most High sent 
his son who you did not accept. So this is how you know they were full of it. Yahweh shall say unto them, If the Most High were your father, you would love me. For I proceeded this forth and came from the Most High. Okay, and that's another thing. Watch out for individuals that say the Most High. Before they give any reference to Yahweh Shai. The Most High. No, you got to go through Yahweh Shai first. That's how you get to the Heavenly Father. And the guys that are saying the Most High, the Most High, Abba, Abba and all that. They don't even respect the one he sent. The one the Heavenly Father sent. So they were hypocrites. For I proceeded forth and came forth from the Most High. Neither I came of myself, but he sent me. So Yahweh was letting them know. Directly, the Heavenly Father sent him on the earth for their sins. Why do you not understand my speech? Even because you cannot hear my words, because this word ain't for all our nation on this side. Ye of your father the devil. So this one Yahweh was cursing them out. Saying, you of your father the devil. Cain, Esau, Edom. And the loss of your father will you do. Okay, and when you go into that word devil, quickly get that word up. And go into the definition of what it means. Why Yahweh Shai said this. And it's interesting. When you look up this word devil. Diablos. Strong's G 1228. Diabolos. Diablos. Diabolos. Prone to slander. Okay. So what's slander? Slander is a lie. Okay. Slander is a false witness. Slanderous, accusing falsely. So these are men that had these traits. Calaminator, if I'm saying it right. A false accuser, a slanderer. Metaphor applied to a man who by opposing the cause of the Most High may be said to act the part of the devil or to side with him. So in these end times, this is what you're going to have in this truth. Okay? Men, when you were around them, they never had nothing to say. But now you've departed. Now you're... Rehearsing the righteous acts. Now they've got everything to say. Okay. Now the false witnesses have came. Okay. Why? Because they're of their father the devil. And they're going to be destroyed. They're already condemned. Because they're not going to repent. They're just going to go head headstrong into that wickedness. Bunch of devils. Got demons all up in your inward parts. You of your father the devil and the loss of your father you will do. That's see, that's the spirit, that's the spirit of Esau. What's Esau trying to do? He's trying to get us locked up. But that's the spirit of certain men in this truth. That's the spirit of certain men in this truth. They try and get you locked up. That's why your is gonna destroy every last single one of them. Thinking the Lord don't see your wicked ass. Okay? Scheming. Okay. And he was a murderer from the beginning. And that's that same spirit. And you've got men in the truth that are murderers. Mur they're murderers. Because it starts within your mind. For you to commit the act of murder, it starts within your mind. Okay? From the beginning, and he abode not in the truth, going back to Cain. And the scripture says, he that do do does not love his brother is a murderer. So you're going to suffer the same fate as Esau. And what, what's the punishment for a murderer? Death, okay, from the beginning, and abode not in the truth, because there is no truth in him. Okay, when he speaketh a lie, he speaketh of his own. You just, you don't just make up stuff. You have to have proof. If if you're gonna, if you're gonna um, throw out allegations, you need to have proof of that particular thing that you're saying. Because if you don't, then it's just an allegation. It's just a rumor. Okay. But men are so demonic, that's what they do. When he speaketh a lie, he speaketh of his own. So he just makes stuff up. That's the spirit of Esau. For he is a liar and the father of it. And because I tell you the truth, ye believe me not. So this is what Yahweh was coming with. Yahweh was, he was what? He, he is the truth. And people, a lot of people, they can't really accept the truth. They like the idea of truth, but they can't accept the truth. Okay, so that means you're not in the truth. Which of you convince me of sin? And if I say the truth, why do you not believe me? He that is of the Most High, hear of the Most High's words. Ye therefore hear them not, because you're not of the Most High. <laughs> okay. 
So those that are going to receive this word, why? Because they can receive it. Okay? Those that can't, why? Because they're of their father, the devil. And guess what? They're going to buck up. Because our people, they want to hear smooth things. We need to tell our people all the truth. What really happens? When you come in this truth, if you're a man of the Lord, a hopeful elect, you're not going to be loved by the world. And I want to go further to say this. You're not going to be loved by certain men in the truth. Because they're of the world. So if you have men that claim to be in the truth that are of the world, and you're of Yahweh Shai, guess what? There's going to be a variance because these men are upholding the world. They're of the world. So they're going to have the characteristics of the world. Hate, envy, jealousy, murder, slander. These are all characteristics of the world. Okay, let's go to Isaiah 30. All this, you, you, here it is, you've got men that, all this information, but they can't, they can't go into particular scriptures when it deals with Yahweh Shai. And when it deals with the wicked scribes and Pharisees. All this other information. Let's go to Isaiah 30. We're going to shut off on this. That this is a rebellious people, lying children, children that will not hear the law of the Lord Jehovah Shai. Okay, which say to the seers, see not unto the prophets, prophesy not unto us right things. So our people, they don't want to hear the truth. Because the truth is harsh. But we all have to deal with the truth. Because if we don't want to deal with the truth now, that means we're going to have to deal with it later. So it'd be best to deal with it now. Prophesy not unto us right things. Our people don't want to hear the right thing. No matter, my, no matter how harsh it may come across, speak to unto us smooth things. Prophesy deceit. So our people would rather us that... Our people would rather that we lie to them. Okay? Prophesy deceits. But we can't do that. We've got to speak the truth. Get ye out of the way, turn aside out of the path. And this is what individuals do. They try to isolate you or cast out your name as evil. But it's not going to work. Cause the Holy One of Israel to cease from before us. So they, they don't want no part of Yahweh Shai. As much as they may claim that they're of Yahweh Shai, they don't want no part. Because when the truth comes out, you got guys, what? Punching, punching up windows, slamming doors, raising eyebrows. That means you're against Yahweh Shai. This word has no place in you. Okay. Wherefore, thus saith the Holy One of, of Israel, Yahweh Shai, because ye despise this word and trust in oppression and perverseness and stay thereon. So that's going to be your destruction. It says in Proverbs 13 and 13, He that despiseth the word shall be destroyed. But he that feareth the commandment shall be rewarded. So it's up to you. Well, you know what? It's not up to you because at the end of the day, Yahweh Shai has selected his hand chosen a group of men that are going to do this work no matter what okay and he's 